All right, what up, guys? It's Vin. What's going on? It's Nick. It's Frank. And we're back with another episode of the Owen Oaks Podcast. This episode, we're back with my personal favorite artist. I got the album early, but Russ, Tom, too. Personally, I just want to get into it. Uh, we'll go, I think, yeah, whatever. You guys just suck. I, I don't want to say too much because I ranted last. I'll save it to the end. So, so. it's my first Russ album. Um, Definitely ready. You know, we got a lot of cool features here. Um, we'll pull up the track list so you guys can see for yourself. I'll give you a couple seconds. You know, definitely, I kind of want, you know, Russ to try and compete here this, this time for an album of the year contender because it's not something he's ever been in the run for. Not by, not by me, but personally, rap fans haven't really put him out there as a guy that's going to win album of the year or anything a grammy like i haven't never heard his name in the conversation mm -hmm. so maybe you know he brought some legends here we got jada kiss west side gun jay electronica like that's crazy ghostface killer conway die high the prince like these are all like 2000s rappers so it's very interesting to see what he's gonna go for here, and I'm honestly ready for it. I hope for the best. I'm very excited for this album. Like Frank said, it's my first like real listen to a Russ album, like from start to finish. I listened to all the others, but not on like drop day like this, mm -hmm. which I'm really excited for. Uh, I hope Russ surprises me. You know, I I like his music. Vin put me on to him. You know, I slept on him, and now I think he's a great artist. Personally, like, why the fuck you listen to Russ? Yeah, it's, it's, he's a lyricist. No, it's no, the, Russell, bro. It's the <laughs> reputation he got a couple years ago. Like I said, everyone followed along. Um, but yeah. when you give people a chance, things change. So, yep. Yeah. All I want to say is it was a trend. Look at where some of those rappers are. Low pump, smoke, perp. Those people you were bumping nonstop. They're not even relevant. Yeah. And. Making Ooh. M's on M's on. But then again, it's like, look at the features he has here. These are the people that actually, like, mess with him, you know? Look, he got the game on Once the House P, West Side Gun, Big Crit, Snoop Dogg, Jada Kiss, Jay Veronica. This, personally, right now, I'm going to call it my favorite track, but Big Sean, Wale, and Joey Badass, and Hit Boy produced it. Yeah. Russ usually don't let people produce it. He'll produce most of his stuff, so. Just another thing, so you guys know, this isn't his traditional album. This is more of a mixtape type of thing. Like, if you listen to Chomp 1, it's a lot of rap, like actual bars. This isn't him trying to make a hit out of everything. You know what I'm saying? So, definitely, you. it's like, I understand people not going to like it, but I just personally like the lyrical rap more. I look forward to this album. Know what you're getting into. I don't think it's going to be a lot of slow paced. Russ, like, Missing You Crazy, Psycho Part 2, all that, you know? But I'm I looking forward that. to it. Yeah, but I'm saying it's, uh, how you did Chomp 1. Yeah. He's saying it's supposed to be more of a rap than, like, hip-hop, like, melody. And, yeah. uh, yeah, 100% 100, 100 honesty, as always. Um, we'll definitely speak on each track after we listen to them. But we got the first track called Sheep, produced by Jake One. Y'all know what it is. Boss, that time. That time. Uh, uh, I like all my women to be sex crazed. Models trying to put my hair in French braids. The tie smoothies with the elderberry. Y'all not my contemporaries. Y'all are temporary because the music ain't even secondary. You might have more money, but you've never left the country. Who's really rich? They hear this and say, oh, Russ can sing, but he can really speak. Oh, my mind didn't change. I get accused of hurting feelings, but you hurt yourself. Running after someone who don't want you. You desert yourself. See, social media made everyone think they're celebrities. But what have y'all done that's worth celebrating? And everybody got the same personality and identities that sheep just multiplied this shit is devastating damn wow like half of that was facts i'm not gonna lie yeah especially the social media makes you all think you're famous like mm -hmm. you guys like i've seen that mainly during the whole astroworld situation you all thought you were famous because you got some likes mm -hmm. with your uh with your attention post and i'm happy somebody is addressing it yeah. because the music i listen to it's fire, but nobody's really speaking on real shit right now mm -hmm. in the in the current music industry. 
So I could definitely appreciate that from Russ. Like speaking about this type of stuff. It's definitely needed. How you guys feel about the track? Yeah, you guys talk you first. That was a good track. You were spitting no, right there. Like that that's his lyrical side, right? You can say that? That was sick. He was over the beat though. Like yeah. the beat wasn't carrying. Like he was just flowing. Mm -hmm. He was just like, you know what? Fuck you. Basically, yeah. Whether it's in a song like this or it's like just on Instagram, Twitter, whatever, you know, he's just gonna tell you the truth because it's real life, and someone's gotta say it, and someone's like y'all gotta realize it sooner or later. Again, this is not the only thing he does, but you guys make it seem like you you take it how you take it. Yeah, I don't take yeah. offense to it. But the main thing is that he speaks on the topic, and yeah. that's what I, you know, got from that track. It's cheap. Track two, we got. Blue Chip featuring Ransom, produced by Mr. Porter. Sounds like a, sounds like a ball mixtape. You guys hear that? He's on tap with my bucks. I think he brought up Mike Evans. And he also, and he also just claimed that this is the album of the year. So already we're getting what I said earlier of how he's going to go for that. And that's mm -hmm. good. Like, I feel like this album, he might talk his, the most shit he's ever talked. As he should. So, see how, see how it goes. But so far, good. My game's ill, rhyme with tequila, the heat to this J-Will. Make skills mm. feel like mm. magic, pass it. Always been a king, I'ma share it if I have it. Trying to make the paper flip, I only play squid games. Make Woo! Make the mix so she beat throw. Then my D rolls, then her knees broke. Oh, no bullshit. Can you say D rolls like my knees broke? Oh. Damn, that's yeah. foul. Now nah, he's coming back. I don't take word from a peasant who cheat the job. Never did I fall prey to a reverend who preached to God. I hope to free us all, but nothing can cost more than something that's free of charge. Who attempt to be fair, put that whip in the rear. Never cared what they think, never think that they care. A slow jam program went from a 10 speed to a bro ham. Charge low, better get scoop again, a hard pull. My nigga, you can get charmed too. Yo. Yo. Okay, okay. Really old rap vibes here, you know, mm -hmm. bringing that old sound. And I love how the outro just said, bringing that chomp to. That was nice. Um, good feature from Ransom. I don't know who that is, but killed it. Yeah. Bro that, really that was, brought, that was really good. Really brought that old rap. You, you know what it felt like to me? This is like a little hot take. It felt like a Friday Night Lights some song. Uh, oh, J. From, Cole. from the oh, I thought you meant from the movie, but no. from the J. Cole mixtape. Yeah, it gave me that vibe. It's mm. the guy sounded like he was on the off season. The yeah. way he was rapping. Yeah, that too. Yeah, yeah. that beat was that beat was that beat was heat. That beat was fire. It's the Porter. Straight up favorite line. He says it right in the beginning. Hip hop. He was a hip hop king on the Forbes list. How many of y'all rappers were on that list? Yeah, that's all I got to yeah, say. Barely. But nah, that, I thought that was fire. I thought that was fire. That, sure. beat, that beat went hard. That, that's what kept me in there. I was bopping my head, and then the little transition part, and then the outro. And it, they so. really brought back that old sound, for sure. Yeah. Track three, we got Bucket Hat Low, featuring Papoose, and produced by Russ. What the fuck did he just say, bro? This is a raw test line. I'm like, Ron Artest, I keep the peace like Meta World. Wow. That's fire. I am your demise. I'm sorry we never met before. Your project was the projects. I threw you off the seventh floor. Sit them a heart emoji. Now we gassed up. Don't let that heart go to your head. Straight here, cut to the D's and the G's. Don't say in Gabbana. I'm always on your mind. What's up with you, partner? I'm living in your head. Red free. I'm a squatter. I feel like the greatest as I should know. The Bentley got massage seats. I'm riding around in Brookstone. I'm the island London dog. I'm headed to the top, boy. Spot a lot of off points. I 
up and getting rich though. Couple homies blood, but I invested in some crypto. The best rapper under 30 and it's not even close. You never been fly once, you cannot advise Russ. I gave myself a raise, I need the daily life side Russ. Got this wrapped up, get your wraps up. As soon as you act up, you're gonna get packed up, you're gonna get snatched up. Jesus Christ. That one was like a back and forth, just great chemistry. Mm -hmm. Um, They were going, that was fire. No stop. Yeah, they didn't yeah, stop. That was just straight bars. They said, fuck a hook. He just jumped in and yeah, they just were, snapped. They were both, they were both snapped. Russ was flowing on that. Yeah. They were both snapping. That, I was happy, but what do you expect? It's a Russ beat that he yeah. made, and, and then he's flowing, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, thought that was another solid track, for sure. Um, so far, he's bringing the, the lyrics, um, the beats I really like so far. Again, there's been three producers so far, one being Russ and Mr. Porter and Jake One, who are also on the rest of the album. We got Harry Fraud, DJ Premier, we got The Alchemist, it's who did that with, um, what's his name, Freddie Gibbs, yeah. the mm -hmm. entire album. Um, I don't know really, I don't know the others, but Hit Boy, DJ Hit Boy, DJ Premier, yeah, it's gonna yeah. be, it's gonna be a nice... Nice project. Mm -hmm. Moving on to track four, Nothing New, featuring The Game, uh, produced by High Tech. Writing raps and watching camera feeds, pistol for my sanity, lying, say I'm doing fine, gotta keep the fam at ease, my music is medicine for people trying to heal themselves, feel themselves, I think my confidence be pissing a few of you off, but what you hating me is missing in you, and they muddy the waters just to try to make it seem deep, made eight million dollars plus 200 grand in three weeks, supermodel suck me clean, I love my little knee freaks, I'm hustling until there is no introduction needed, hit the blunt, I'm weeded, fifth of rum this evening, leave it, ain't no money in music, that's what the industry says make 20 million independent dog the industry's dead i ain't saying shit y'all ain't talking about nothing i bought a car for everybody they all came with a button i should sounds like an eminem song yeah i was about to say yeah. it's the same sounds like an old eminem song mm -hmm. heard your last night that best it was all right got some hoes coming no vain shit we can play from it been shot i've been stabbed still waving this red flag the man behind demi lovato success after rehab couple lawsuits the law say lost what he had i'm like louis vuitton stitching bitch i'll get to the bag it's like sex to me, fucking the track. It's like young Miami laying next to me. Room dark as Kodak Black when I'm off this ecstasy. The ass getting nipsy, slap is that pussy testing me. So come test me, your body flow upon the river, nigga. Bigger than the lips of 96 chiggers. Nothing but see Urkels in your circle. Your bitch see the top of my star. I'm popping her too. Your go for me only did half. She and your hearse too. Ooh. That's my favorite song. Uh, yo, That's that my favorite song. So that was my favorite song. Like, first, of all, first of all, first of all, if you have never heard the song, um, 92 bars by The Game, please, when I say please, go listen to that, and then you'll understand how he violates. Yeah. Like, he just violated, like, mad people. And just brought up, Mad funny shit, and mm -hmm. the Demi Lovato bar was like, wow. wow. But Bro, we, were we couldn't even pause it. And either. Russ gave me such a Eminem vibe there, like old Eminem, not current. Yeah. That I just think that's probably going to be my favorite song. So it's going to be hard to top probably, that one. Yeah. I love old samples and songs. So like this part right here. He does just that a lot. Just too. something like that, you know, like um on the song Flying High off Rodeo by Travis, he did exactly that. And and then would just sing over it. I know this is the way he outro the track, but I love that yeah. personally. Yeah. Like it doesn't make sense to have that in the song at all. But just how fire that song was, to throw it out at the end, no one minds it. Yeah. Yeah, yo. Russ does that a lot, though. Like, on, uh, it's one of the mixtapes, but it's, like, on Apple Music and stuff, because it's Yeah. But, uh, Pink Elephant, a lot of his tracks. Like, it, it's sick. I, I love it. Like, uh, I forgot the last song on it, but he uses it, Ed Sheeran hook. Uh, Ed Sheeran sings the hook, and then he does, does the verses. 
It sounds beautiful. It's like, yo, if that was an actual song, I'd... I really like that he did that for sure. Um, Mikey, what'd you think about the track? Oh, she thought you was gonna body me on your own track. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, that this was... is it. Russ just brings different features and he brings lyrical features and he's always trying to just bring something that's gonna body it. And it's like almost a competition. This was definitely and definitely one of those songs where they went at each other low key, not hating wise. Definitely like yo, competitive. Who yeah, they, they try to top. Pop exactly. each other off. Let's just go at each other. Yeah. I listen. There's a lot to keep going. Like, there's that's a only lot four of four tracks. Yeah. Like, there's a track with Big Crit and Snoop Dogg. Like, that's amazing. But the next track has West Side Gun. Another and rap, P. like, underrated legend. And Styles P. Produced by Ninth Wonder, the track Salute, track five. Again, listen for the West Side Gun ad libs. Okay, so it did a transition with it. Yeah, it did a transition. Yeah. So if hey. I I really like the track. I think West Side Gun had the better feature. Um, that's just me. You know, I, I love his ad libs and he just sounds so different from everybody. Um and I think the beat was great. But I think actually too, Russ had a nice chorus. He's he wasn't on it too much, but you know, I think it was a solid track. Yeah, it's a great the chorus track. made it like a lot, a lot more chill. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, I was a little different from the other songs, but honestly, I didn't mind it. You know, it's not the best track so far, but it was definitely a solid track. Yeah, I mm-hmm. I liked West uh, I got person. Yeah, me too. Like I said, it's unorthodox, and you don't hear that a lot now. Yeah. Same thing like Andre. So you don't hear Andre like those type of verses like that anymore. You know, again, this so far has been very old school. I like that. Again, it's like different than Silk Sonic old school, where that's like good for the soul type shit. You yeah. Know? This is that old rap. Like mm-hmm. you're not hearing this unless you're going back to that '90s, early 2000s rap. Exactly. You're getting that Jay Z. You're going old con mm-hmm. Andre. Nas, that's that's know? really what I was trying to stress in the beginning about this project. You know, because yeah. I could just tell. You're not gonna get a track with Jada Kiss and it's gonna have mumble. Yeah. Or none of these guys. Or soft no. or soft shit that doesn't involve their life. Like no, they these guys talk from their experience. See what the game did. Right? That's, that's all they know. Wrong. Yeah. Well, the game's just dirty. No, no, yeah. no, for sure. But I'm saying, like, how many people you got doing that now? That's what I'm saying. They speak. They speak about their own, uh, you know, problems life and it? how they they rap in the older fashion. I like it, bro. I, I like that. There so. hasn't been a track that's been like, ah, this is all right. Yeah. yeah. Like, not listenable. So, let's yeah. say. Jumping into track six, we got Faith with Jadakiss. This could be interesting. Produced how, by Russ, too. So, we're back with the Russ type yeah. of beat. How can Russ work with Jadakiss? Let's see. Thank God that I never had to pop a pill to have pop a pill. That's just not the real. I do me all. Scream Russ like I play for the Seahawks. I- this motherfucker. Like Russ, like I play for the Seahawks. Well, that's that's, oh, that's bar. a bar. That's bar, bro. <laughs> 
six more months, that's like six more ends. A fucked up game that be playing with my psyche. Women trying to fuck me, rappers trying to fight me. Betting on myself, I'm all in, feel icy. Faith will guide me. On the bad days, it carries me. And on the good days, it's beside me. High key, the best style. Y'all gotta respect the name. Not surprised you all sound the same, cause y'all dress the same. Another shot at all of you. Shot you all dress the same, and he just said, he's the best. What he just said. For the world, new rush before they seen the movement. Fucking with a chick that live right off of Beaver Ruin. Saw you for anyone who tried to clown me. I changed the game, it wouldn't be the same without me. So I'ma follow me, I don't trust what y'all say. I'm always put my faith in me. Oh no, I don't play that shit. I'll say that shit. Put it on the table, I'ma weigh that shit. Where the cash came, now they put Mister in front of my last name. I'm in the fast lane, doing the buck something, ready to buck something. Just like I'm careful where I put my safes at. Yeah. is off, but they really never was on. I'm totally fine, you're not feeling me in the song. I'm playing around, but I really could get them gone. Really? So, yeah. I'm always put my faith in me. I don't know how you guys feel about that. I think that, like, kind of ruined Russ's vibe there. Like, Jadakiss sounded like he just smoked 87 cigarettes yes. today. Yeah, I was going to say. He did sound weird. He had some bars in there. He, no, well, it, yeah, it's, he, wait, he, hold on. Sorry. Yeah, rephrase. No, 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 yeah, I know no. exactly what you meant. He was, spit. Yeah. He did his yeah. thing. But the Russ, sound. like, went into a, a melodic hook and then... It kind of just changed the sound of the track. It's not that Jada Kiss was bad. I just yeah. think the sound to it could have been a lot better. Mm -hmm. Spitting bars, so that's what made me like tolerable to it, and that's what kept me with my head bopping because I was like, "All right, no, nah, this is some facts." Mm -hmm. He keeps going with it, yeah. but when it came to the sound to it, it definitely could have sounded better for his verse. Yeah, because I really like that. Because that's what Russ does too. Like it's that melodic type of hook, right? Like same thing after the. It's so, something so basic. You know, yeah. That it's like you just can get it right. When you hear it once, you know what's coming. Mm -hmm. But it was like, it, like the way it sounded. It, like it reminded me almost of like how Bobby was on uh, "Stupid" with Six Nine, like over the phone. It yeah. sounded like a like weird. It, like it kind of ruined that style to the like, Yeah, like that. That's what I would say as like the best reference to it. You know, that's all I'm sound. saying. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, but. And that it was still tolerable. I really liked Russ's uh, sound on that one. Can Snoop, like, not make a track solely for the money here and go the fuck off? Nah, he could. I'll tell you that. Because on uh, the album <coughs> do, Russ got a song with Rick Ross and Snoop on it. Yeah. And, it was, and okay. Snoop okay. actually spit. It was more of, like, a chill type of spitting, you know? You know how Snoop is yeah, right now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, even Rick Ross picked that up. So did Russ. You know, they all kept Snoop's type of flow to it. And it re went really well. So, considering they have a song, I'm hoping that this that. Like, the point is, because, you know, Snoop's be laid back here. He doesn't have to impress anybody on a Russ project, yeah. is what I'm saying. So, I hope he really brings it. And then DJ Premier is the producer. So, let's check out track seven, free. On a primo beat, this beat from Primo make me feel reborn. Come on, I used to light myself on fire just to keep you warm. Put in nothing but trauma. You can't tell me shit to Bentley in two houses, and that's just for my mama. And she don't gotta ever work again. Whole family one. The only hell I ever took is when Snoop handed me one. I was my first producer, basement two. Shout out. <laughs> that was a bar. That was a bar. The, the only hell I ever took was when Snoop, Snoop handed, handed me one. one. Come no. on. That's a bar right That's there. Bar. That could be one of the best bars I've heard tonight. <laughs> Literally. That was he. That was he. Yo, you gotta appreciate that bar right there. The only hell I ever took is when Snoop handed me one. Bumping cutty, thought that I was down and out. Free myself now. Okay, 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 okay. He just okay. gained okay. He, Russ okay. just gained his Wait. respect. Wait. Russ just gained your respect. Wait. Bro. Wait. Because that song is not on streaming services. That song is before day and night. Behind me, this this album right here. Frank. Behind me is day and night, uh, Man of the Moon 1. Mm -hmm. That song, Down and Out, is a 2008 from the, the mixtape, um, Hidden Named Cuddy. 
down and out, just underrated Kid Cudi. Holy shit. I, I love you, Russ, for that. <laughs> nah, but bro. Like... What did I say, though, bro? That's, that's, that's great. That's underrated Cuddy. Like, that's not fucking on streaming services. Yeah. And I bet most, most people aren't catching that. Just saying. Fucking Cuddy thought that I was down and out. Free myself oh, now. Up, up, in a way. And he said up, up, and away. From Man on the Moon 1. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Like, you know, you guys don't know how much I love that song. I don't want to click play. I'm so happy I got yo Russ. Like, like Russ, if you happen to see this, you just gained this respect. Like, so bro, much, hold bro. on a second. Thirteen years ago, down and out. I play with the boy. That's awesome. This is so 90s. Yeah. Let's never never I really, that's one of my favorite tracks too from this project so far. That's up there with my favorite. That was one of the better ones too. Um, you know, the chemistry there was really good. For those references, way to, way to write your body paragraph, Russ. Way to do it. It was fine. There's not much to say, bro, honestly. Bro, that the was reaction just... when those two lines came on. Yeah. Bro, because, like, you guys... Because oh. Russ has said... Uh, again, I'm new to Russ, which is crazy. Um, I go on his Instagram, and I see him post the last track of Man on the Moon 2. It's called The End, which is the outro. Mm -hmm. And he's like, this song got me through everything. And I was like, bro... This guy fucks with Cuddy, you're like you're automatically I'm fucking with you, you know? Track eight, Top of the World, featuring Jay Electronica, who dropped the twenty twenty project of his with Jay Z, Travis, all the features. Yeah, yeah that no, album's it's insane. insane. It's a good album. Like, how are you gonna fucking throw Fairly Odd Parents in there? Like, yeah, it's so. Say. Like. Like, it was nothing. And just move on. I killed my family's bills like Uma Thurman! Bro! Kill Bill! What the fuck? I really fuck with these references, bro, because they all relate to what I like. I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting happy, yo. I killed all these bills like Uma Thurman. That's so fire. That's so fire. I'm about to get the fuck out of my seat. That's so fucking fire. That's why he's the go. What the fuck is you so cool, Kendrick? Yeah. I me. I'm a legend. This ain't Zelda models trying to link with me. Ain't nobody bitch. <laughs> I'm like Zelda models trying to link with me. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? What is going on? He's to you. He's like, he's like, he's like I, I sent bro, Vin. He bro, goes, I sent bro. Vin. He was like, I sent you bro. this album early so he can put you bro, on yeah. for legend your first official listen to an album too. Bro, Ro wow. Legend of Zelda is like one of my favorite games of all time. I know. Like we're, and him. Like we're really, I'm sorry, I'm smacking the desk. <laughs> we're really going to do that? Bro. The next oh thing you God. need to bring up is another game I like and I'll fucking shit myself, okay? <laughs> What did he just say? Um, scroll Zelda. Back, scroll uh, back. This is how I picture me. I'm a legend. This ain't Zelda. Models trying to link with me. Yo, that's, ain't nobody that's fire. Me. Ever since I gave myself the green light. My life's a movie. Guess I scream right. Flow with your spirit. That's how you transcend reality. You might be a star, but I'm the galaxy. My circle's at capacity. They probably just forget your dreams. They just call it a salary. She want to wrestle in the sheets. I feel like Roman Reigns. You don't know this change if you don't move. Now I'm on top of the world, now I'm coming down. Now I'm on top of the world. The baby 
Please have dreams of making love on a spaceship. You could hear atheist cries in the sub when the bass hit. From Genesis to Revelation, we at war with the Satan, trying to raise a nation and begin the second creation. Nice. That's all I have to say. I told you I needed to get you into him. And these last two tracks really just hit you. And I, you could just tell by the reactions. Bro. Like, I'm so. You don't know how happy I am for you. Yeah. Like, that's this, is, this is reminding me of my first time listening to Russ when he put me on. It's just like more than the song. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Like, it's more than one, music with One. Him. Let me just get real. One, the message of most of these tracks. I, I like that. You know, he's actually he's talking about some shit. Two, the theme of the album is clearly old school. Clearly, with yeah. these features. <coughs> the sound sounds old school. And then you're giving me old school references. Legend of Zelda, my friends, was 1996. And for me to play that game, I'm 20. I played that game when I was 3. Because there was a free trial on a Smash Brothers game for 10 minutes. I played it. And then I went to my uncle's and I played it on the 64. And it was a game changer. So, then you're bringing up... Uh, what was the one before that? The Fairy Odd Parents. with Ease. One of my favorite shows as a kid. There was another one in this song. That's just not... I can't think of it right now. A wrestler, I think. Oh, like Roman Reigns. Oh, right. Me yeah. and my girl wrestling fighting in the sheets like, like Roman Reigns. Or wrestling in the sheets like Roman Reigns. Big this WWE. This is fire. Big WWE. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love WWE. We got the games somewhere, I'm not going to pull them out. Yeah. But we got the games. But I'm just liking it, bro. This, this is also because uh, I'm very religious. Was the Bible reference saying from start to finish Genesis and Revelations? Yeah. That's the first and last book of the Bible. Yeah. yeah. So like, if you actually understand, like, that's actually a fire bar to talk about mm -hmm. how it's going through. And I was gonna so, say, that was cool. I was gonna say, Jay Electronica was giving me the Jada Kiss vibe of how it doesn't belong, but then it just like it worked honestly. Yeah, it worked. As soon as it started, I was like, wait, doesn't fit, but then. It was just it a good. It was a good verse. Note to self, track nine. This is the one I'm looking this forward one, to. This one's gonna be crazy. It speaks for itself here. You got Big Sean, Wale, Joey, Badass, and Hip Boy producing it. This bro, is gonna be dirty. Bro, bro, this is gonna be dirty. It's gonna be filthy, bro. Like, I, I, I don't even want to talk. I just want to hear this shit real this quick. This is gonna be right? dirty. Hit boy, chomp two, chomp two, 5 a.m. in Atlanta, I'm writing raps. Sometimes I'm fighting for my dreams, but it seems like they fighting back. Like, who can really spit today? I think people are getting tired of all the party rap. Me, I'm out in Vegas on the spot that I party at. Fat. All the people are getting tired of all the party rap. Who can really spit today? Okay. And guess what? He got three people who could spit on this track. Okay. Always had drive Ryan Gosling. Since I had a notebook full of rhymes, they probably know it off. They mouse is for the green like I'm in Boston. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I, I, I didn't catch it. I didn't catch it. I didn't catch the Ryan Gosling one. I heard the notebook. No, no, no. Hold, hold on, on, hold on. Okay, Ryan Gosling, the notebook. Like, all right, the best romantic movie, probably one of, mm -hmm. of all time. And he said it's my notebook full of rhymes. Okay. Let's, what is this one? Nah, you gotta wait, wait. I wanna see if you catch it real quick. It's coming up. It's coming up. Notebook full of rhymes. They probably know it off. They mouse is for the green like I'm in Boston. Green, green monster. 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 Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's fucking far. Let's go. Stop it. Let's go. But I'm in ATL. I employ myself and I pay me well. How many millions did I make? Maybe 12. All I need is a couple weeks to make it 13. Me to love and run and run. Good song. Oh, niggas want loyalty without showing loyalty. King shit, I want the royal treatment and royalties. Let's be preaching the way they crossing me like I dot my eyes and crossing my T's. Really, I got a reputation I often proceed. But understand that rock bottom or bottomless pit. Somebody always doing worse than worse as it is. It's a cold, cold game and I'm going Wayne Gretzky. Born the same day as Aretha, you gotta respect me. I got Aretha Franklin? Has to be. Has to be that mm -hmm. Has that, to be. That's fire. Has though. to be. Start treating my life like it's the only one. I done seen niggas lose their life over a hundred ones. I done seen white piece who's the ones get one and done. My ego say I'm top five. My heart saying I'm one on one. Talk about pressure, then say they on top of it. Only that is yeah. too short and that they under a lot of it. So it's the only one you risk, but it's boring when you get help. That's why I run my race and 
they slow cause they chasing clout. Yeah. I aspire what they can't okay. I just keep playing gallery flares, but like can't look. They ask me if I'm sure, I say I get go selling Geico. Haha, my respect is nothing like them. Okay. Cause I write flows to turn this cypher to a cyclone. This is a goosey, I got a goo, have a bite though. I might go. Gabba goo. Gabba goo, have a bite though. Yeah, I know. And y'all know, I'm killing these cities like money heist though. Sean to start with. Um, personal from him, clearly. Mm -hmm. Like, just spit about himself and how he's, you know, really, yeah, but really like, does the shit. All, because... th all four of them, I was going to say, pretty just, just but also. Like, it makes sense why it's called Note to Self. No one else, like, no one brought a reference up of that or, like, said it in anything. Like, yeah. Note to Self. Mm -hmm. But everything was all personal and about their lives. And, and it's really them just speaking to themselves. Yeah. About what they've been through and stuff. And, uh, there was something I wanted to say. Um, just had it. Okay. Big Sean had to submit this verse recently. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, after what Kanye said to him, he really has to just kind of prove people wrong at this yeah. point. Kanye literally said, my worst mistake in my life was signing Big Sean. Which... Big Sean did not have a bad career at all. He not had at all. he has a timeless classic in Blessings. And mm -hmm. that whole project was mm -hmm. awesome. Wait for uh what's it called? All Your Fall? My favorite song on the album besides Blessings and One Man Can Change the World. Like Big Sean beautiful really song. That's a beautiful song. Big Sean really did it, bro. Mm -hmm. So for Kanye to say that was that hurt it hurt me, bro. it definitely hurt yeah. me because I like Big Sean and he just got out of depression. So that's the last thing he needed. Yeah, literally, right when he gets out, he finally releases me. Like, we love Kanye. Like, he's the best. He's the mm -hmm. GOAT. But that, that really some, hurt. Some of your opinions. That's an LT. Some of my Kanye. Is... That one hurt as a fan of Big yeah. Sean. Um, you know, Wale, I really liked. You know, he really mm -hmm. spoke on how the money he made in his first album... Like, when he made um, Ambition with uh, Meek Mill. Yeah. That album... Like, Wale was the man at the time, and he made, uh, I can't think of the song, but it's the, it's his best song with uh, Miguel, I think, but Joey, too. Just three really good features there. Yeah, people that are underrated. Yeah, these are all three yeah. underrated rappers here. Bro, half of you guys don't know about 1999. Yeah, no, honestly, it is. Everyone in this... Because people everyone talk on that shit about country. Joey Badass. Yeah. Man, people talk shit about Wale. Yeah, people talk shit about Big Sean. I roll them up. The kids are like, who's that ass? Yeah, yeah, yo, well, people are mad disrespectful like that. When, when we were at Rolling Loud, people were like, oh, who's Joey Badass? I was like, yo. Motherfuckers were getting into the I, I was like, you don't, I was like, you don't, Joey I was badass. like, you don't know Paper Trails? That's, that's obviously the most popular one of his songs. Like that, mm -hmm. and you should just know that. It and just, I like, played it, and they were like, never heard this. I was like, wait for the pits, bro. Starts his set, and then, again, everyone's just yelling, Joey. Joey, Joey, Joey fucking, fucking badass. badass. So, Everyone's going nuts, and these kids were like, "What is this?" Yeah, real uh, quick. Culture, like, you don't know it's because most right. people are hearing like two he said, sounds today. Yeah, like, yeah. like Russ said earlier in one of the tracks, "All party rap." I'm getting tired of it. Yeah, like Trav's my boy, but that's all people know. Party yeah. is the guy, but that's all the people know. Drake's the man, but that's all they know. You guys, again, I've addressed this And they this only in know many. their newest shit. Yeah. Like, Trav drops bars. Yeah, you guys don't know this before. Drake Rodeo. drops bars. Well, Al know? Farrow, like... Yeah, y'all don't know. Y'all don't know. As much as you want to shit on Al Farrow, like, you guys don't know it, so don't speak on don't it. Don't appreciate it. It's because it's not what you got into and you have, like, a one-dimensional thinking. It's like, it's just... Like, if you were... If, if I can rage to this, if I can mosh to that's yeah. it. Yeah. But you won't appreciate a track like 90210. Like I said, it, it expand your taste because this project right here is going to give you 
the old school that most mm -hmm. people need and great features thus yeah. far. And it's spitting facts at you guys, yeah. you know. Gone, bro, because, you know, you got your fans and people do appreciate it. Yes. Yep. And you will find newcomers like us. So, mm -hmm. and me and Nick. So. Um, next track, we got a freestyle. Uh, just producer, no feature. Jake One's back with Hustler Freestyle. Let's see. I give them drugs and early coffins. It's astonishing, but I'm off the shit. I'm polishing my approach. That was kind of important. You Google Russ, he's trying to help the kids. You Google another artist, their music is about what? Drug sex money. That was very good. I, I don't that. know if anyone else got that one, but... Well, that's, why, that's why I just put my head down, because I was like, what did I say last video? Yeah. When we did Russ. Yeah, yeah. Russ is one of the only people calling all these people out. Yeah. You know? And guess what? You look up Russ, it's him actually doing things. And he brings it up in other songs and uh, freestyles and interviews and stuff. You're going to search up. And you, like, you look at, like, X people, all these other, like, people's, like, Instagrams. A lot of the shit you've seen on it, drugs, and just promoting their music, and talking about it. Yeah. And people are seeing that. Like, no offense to Pete, no offense to Jews, no, none of all of them. I listen to their music. I love the music. But some of the actions that they're doing so is, is the reason why they're in the place that they are. It's sad to say. It's sad to say. Exactly. It's sad to say. Because it, the music definitely influences them. Are you kidding me? It sad. definitely does. Definitely. It's sad. True, bro. It's hard to see people go down that road, especially at such a young age. Yeah. Gotta say that was very chill. Not the best thing on the album, but very chill freestyle. Very, very good freestyle. Uh, I play this the fire, fire song. Shout out Professor Bauer, bro. Hopefully Boy, you're a watcher. Um, Sorry, I'm in class and do <laughs> But, yeah, nice little freestyle. Mm -hmm. Not the craziest thing on the album, we all know not that, sure. but it's he not spit, like he didn't spit. spit. He didn't spit, he spit but the truth. Yeah, he spit truth. That's what matters to me. Everything was facts. Look it up and see that it's true. No bullshit. Hey, he doesn't try to be somebody he's not. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, we're getting towards the end here. We got track 11, Distance, featuring Conway and Ghostface Killer. My man Conway just threw I'm like Tony talking to Dr. Melfi wow. from The Sopranos. That was just a little bar I wanted to point out. I don't know, I'm good at catching the bars, so don't try it. You are. That was distance. Um, very, very catchy hook. Um, Ghostface. I think Conway had better. Yes. Yeah. I think so, but it was good to hear Ghostface though. Mm -hmm. I'll yeah. Say that. I kind of cringe when he was like, "No cat." I was like, uh. but honestly, 
How would you like me to complain right now? Track 12, we got Get It with Psy High, The Prince, and Lloyd Banks. I'm ascending to the apex. Do more, say less. You ain't getting money. They just keep giving you rain checks. She used to have hoop dreams. Put nothing above it. A child torn between destinies. The toy of love. Get to the pyramids. I feel like Santiago. Even if the sky might fall. Yeah. Trust me, dog. I'm going to Devil visit. Pessimistic. Ass niggas that were successful with it. Jealous critics. Man, I swear this world is hella wicked. So I weigh my options on the triple beam. Features I didn't like them. Yeah. yeah. I just didn't. Weak, I, I don't know why. I just. The, the they only didn't thing that me. kept me going with that track. Sky was, My Fall. Yeah. Bro, that, it was just. The hook, it was, the hook the was, was. The hook was good. The beat was really bro, good. Bro, that too. and that beat. I, I felt like I was floating. I just shut my eyes and I just like Russ. Russ was the his highlight. Melodic side. I was just. It's like, a good vibe song. Oh, Russ was the highlight of the track. I was type. I was type about asleep. I didn't like the. I didn't like the features there. Two tracks left. We got Enjoy the View, track thirteen, featuring Mozzie. Produced by Bink. This is not the last dance. This is bullshit. I'm not Scott Pippen. I'm not Kevin Kippen. And then I'm probably getting rolled. The loot is my second home. Fuck a metronome. Dancing in La 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 and Emma Stone. I set the tone for DIY. Jim Jones, we fly high. Falling when I'm falling, though my faith knows to be my ass. Be fast and you just join the scenery. Slip that. Drive slow. Just enjoy the scenery. Yeah, I think he and you even here in the end of his verse just goes, Yo, let this beef ride out. Instead of that, just through get you kind of bring you back into the track a little. You look at the start of this album, there's not really any hope. Yeah, it's just kind of just so bars straight, straight up, through. Go. Once you got to the like the last two. Three songs, technically. Distance, get it, mm -hmm. enjoy the view. The outro, the project, Chomp 2. We got the track, Golden, produced by Boy, Boy Wonder. Wonder. Boy yeah. Wonder. He, he has the song, uh, he produced the song Ugly with Russ and Lil Baby. Oh. That, that's a fire song. Okay. That's a great song, yeah. That. But that's a fire song. So I'm looking forward. Boy Wonder, fire beat. Very upbeat tempo, you know? Well, for the outro, what what do I want from the outro? Hard song or a chill song? I want a little bit of both. I want it, especially that Russ is the only person on this. I'm kind of looking at, I'm going to throw a hook in here. I feel like he will. Mm -hmm. Like how we did with Ugly. But I'm here, I'm feeling like it's just going to be Russ kind of talking his shit to close it out. You know, like, golden, I'm kind of thinking, like, yo, like, I'm the golden child. You know, like, something yeah. like that, mm -hmm. where it's, like, again, it's, like, that confidence he's fucking his shit. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I'm too. Boy, one I had to give y'all at least one. At least one, let me talk to Like that, I shouldn't slap him. I've been working on compassion. I've been less and less react. Chill out, bro. Please. Chill out. Okay. Melody seem like distraction when they really aren't rapping. Yeah, they doing that. Like Brad, everybody is toasting. They proud that they know you didn't be bragging and boasting. So, guys, that was Chomp 2 um, by Russ. I just wanted to gather everyone around and then we'll talk about mm -hmm. how we felt about the album. I'll go first, real quick. I'm very happy with this project. It showed 
couple of sides of Russ that are probably already portrayed, but one thing I want to say is the old school style, I think, was the theme. And it was fit very perfectly. Um, the features show that right there. You know, a lot of goaded names there. And a lot of good production on this project. Not much repeated sound from Russ. I think he, with that last track, it just showed the diversity. How he had the um, the switch there. So that, that last track had nothing on this project at all. Yeah. It was a completely different sound. Um... And a lot of really fun references that I heard. And a lot of things I catched, which was definitely the highlight for me. Um, it was just a fun project and probably one of my favorite videos that we've done on the, the channel so far. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, whoever wants to go next. Um, this uh, project, um, Chomp 2, really opened my eyes more to us. I, you know, I usually listen to who I want to listen to, but this... I might have to start listening to him a lot more now because how impressed, impressed I am from this uh, project right here. Really, overall, great. You, there's a lot of features which did their part, you know. There's only about songs with just Russ. And all the songs they he delivered and the features delivered. I'm very happy about this. I'm not going to give it a rating, but... I'm just very happy and surprised on how great this came, yeah. this project. I do agree with you, Nick. Uh, the feature they definitely are. Last song, I do agree with you also. Well, Frank, you said. I you said. Made. I said. <laughs> was not big. Uh, Golden had a different sound from the. I feel like that was bringing it back to <laughs> when he was dropping a single every week. When Back when we started, yeah, it's like the OG time mm -hmm. before there's really a wolf. It's like his real. It was like the original sound, original Russ, and it gave us a take of that. I feel project while throwing in what he like, what he would like to do more of like more of that night. Trying to, I I would say he's trying to bring it back, especially since he brought that Jada Kiss, Snoop Dogg, friggin' but. Like Ghostface Killer, Ghost Ghost Killer Ghost Joey Face Badass, Jay yeah. Electronica, yeah, Jada Kids, West Side Gun, game. The My Game. Yeah, literally everyone on that. But like Track 9 with Big Sean, Wale, and Joey are like all old, old school. Mm -hmm. Like those are the three newer rappers, quote yeah. unquote. I feel like yeah, he's man. trying to bring that old sound back and try to be popular. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm all for it. I'm all yeah, for this too. lyrical movement. All for it. I hated the Monk Rap movement. Oh, anywhere where we can get further away from that mumble rap movement where we was all in. Yeah. Perfect. Go ahead, then. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. say. So, first off, I just want to say thank you to Mikey for putting me on yeah, yeah, yeah. all that time ago. And I want to say thank you to you two for finally, like, listening and, like, getting into Because, obviously, this is my favorite rapper. Not even just rapper, artist, because he'd be making all types of music. So oh, it really just, it's good to have that, like. I think Russ himself for sending you that early. Yes, yo, and big shout out to Russ. Like, the album drops at midnight tonight. Right now it's 6 o'clock. And um, I wanted to say this real quick. Like, I, I was gassing it up to some people. Obviously, if you watched it straight through now, you'll find out how I actually got it. But, yo, you go on his Instagram, he made a post. And I, I knew this because of his live stream, like, the night before. But $4 I spent. I have the album <laughs> downloaded, like, already. I get it fully. I get 30% off merch, but we're going to put it in order. And on top of that, I got it a day early. He's independent. How many artists can do that? Yeah. How many artists are you going to see that's dropping in the middle of the week? Um, technically, no Wednesday, that. technically, Wednesday, he Nobody can drop it because at midnight. No one does that. And guess what? For four dollars, even like technically, you could say like he's losing the money because of the merch. Because I buy a hundred dollars, guess what? Thirty dollars off. Oh well, he like you got it for free. Still making money. He's independent. Like y'all don't realize that, but being independent in the game makes a big difference. You do whatever you want. Tory Lanez is doing that now. How much happier he is. 
put all this NFT stuff off. Awesome. It, it's so much fun, bro. And, and there's just more value to it, in my opinion. Money. You yeah. do, you make the songs you want to make. You do whatever you yep. feel like, you know? More people, more rap artists should be independent. Shouldn't be so many hands. Granted, if you want to have so many hands on one project or one song, my guess, you don't need to. I mean, Queen wrote Bohemian Rhapsody by themselves. Yeah. How, that's an almost seven-minute song with all different kinds of shit. It's got an opera like best part of it. It's got all mean. different yeah, best aspects of it, literally. And it was just those guys. It wasn't a bunch of every. It wasn't everybody else. How many Beyonce and not no disrespect to Beyonce. How many Beyonce songs got eight different people on the right? How you know? How many songs so from people say, today got eight or nine different people, ten different people? Yep. You got the whole, you basically got the whole damn studio in the writers. Who's, how much money are you actually Look, making all, that? All, Who's all actually of, got all it? All of to Kanye, but, but he's technically not independent. He does whatever he wants with his music because Kanye. It's, it's yeah, Kanye. Kanye. And guess who's the one who founded him? See, yeah. he signed. See, Jay Z sees that and he's just like, yo, you can do whatever you want. But well, he's not getting. Yep. And Kanye yep. got his other things to make him rich. You know, like his Yeezy deal got nothing to do with Jay Z. You know? exactly. Look, he's making money other ways, but you gotta realize it's. And he... Same thing. You'll never see people. Or the way he did, and the way he did. That simple. Me, this album, like going to the album now, I loved it. From tracks one to ten, Hustlers Freestyle, yes, yes. <laughs> Eleven through thirteen, it was really carried by hooks by Russ for me. The feet weren't hitting that well. The beats were pretty fire, I can't lie. But it wasn't hitting as well. And then track 14, Golden, Boy Wonder, you did your thing. Russ, you just went crazy on the track. Mm -hmm. And you even said, y'all thought I wasn't going to give you one of these. Or, I, I, like, I really got to give you one of these. However he said it. Yeah. Like, you just came out with different energy, different vibe. You got me, like, I'm going to count this more of a mixtape type of thing for you. Just because when you look at your albums, you kind of keep it without the... But... Either way, I'm going to say, like, your album, whatever that's coming out, your next one, looking really forward to it. I hope you go back to dropping mm -hmm. the singles a week type of thing, too. Please, just please because having that new music every week, it's just so refreshing. You know, it's not every week, every two weeks, three. Like, some, like where it's consistent, you know, because shout out to you with that. Because, uh, like, at the end of the week, we got a boogie. It's just an EP. It's not the album. But... Guess what? We haven't had new boogie all year. We got that one song with Lil Durk. I hated that we, song. Yeah, I didn't like it. And I'm hey, boogie's my second favorite artist. You know? And it's just like it kills to have not have new music. You got to constantly go back. I love the old music, but it doesn't hit the same. So I'm looking forward to what you got in store in the future, mm -hmm. Russ. I love you. Thank you. Hopefully you keep going with this stuff, man. Hopefully you could watch this video, oh, man. We really oh, yeah. appreciate it. Who would have thought stumbling Great. onto Brooklyn freestyle in Mr. Course. Ferruccio's technology class yeah. would have sparked a whole love for this man. Yeah, that's great crazy. project. Crazy. This crazy. is a great yeah. project. But yeah, chop two. If you guys did enjoy our review, probably the most honest you're gonna find. Mm -hmm. No bias, just. I'd be the only one you find. Yeah, not many people are gonna review this project, so we definitely have an honor too. Um, check out our channel, you know, we review new music that comes out and older stuff that we're going to try and get to soon. Yep. Uh, we have our own series and we do some vlogs, but podcast talk. So thank you guys. If you did check this out, comment below how you felt about Chomp 2. If you're a Rush fan, let us know and hit that subscribe button. We're trying to, um, chase goals here. So we really appreciate you guys do. Yep. And Drop a like for us, and we'll see you guys in the next album review slash video. Thank you guys if you came this far, Thank and you so much. Peace. Peace.